Look, guys, fortunately for us, we got to sit here and watch. We weren't in a cage. We talk about the dog and Juliana Pena. Brandon Moreno. Yeah. Oh. This guy's a dog. This guy has that Mexican fighting spirit. We talk about it, but he literally shows it. He gets inside of the octagon, and he wants to fight. As soon as he saw his own blood, the, the yeah. game plan went out the window. I feel like they had to reel him back in and yeah. say, look, fight the style that we talked about. Be, be smart about this. Use that new style guard. Keep him long. Find your shots. But when he found that left kick to deliver, it sat him down. You knew Franz was done right away. I was going to ask you about that because the finish was so impressive for the kick because Car France was in a great position. He was feeling confident. He had Brandon Moreno bloodied, but all of a sudden he takes a kick to right his ribs and he just drops right to the ground. Well, I'll tell you what, that left kick is a very important weapon against somebody with a good right hand because you're going to want to use that kick so that they keep that hand there to block. But he was able to find that mark as opposed to going to the head. He went down a little bit lower to the body, put the toes right in the liver, and boom, that was a wrap. It's like hitting the light switch. It's a button and it's a wrap. And again, we're talking about Kai's best round. He was finally yeah. finding the momentum shift in this fight because, as you said, John, he came out early a Moreno. First two rounds, he was on. He was winning these fights. You saw the momentum shift. Kai started finding his punches, having a really good round right there. But to be down in the third round and to come back and get the stoppage. Yeah. It just speaks to the type of fighter that Moreno is. And remarkably, one of the judges did have Kai Kata France winning rounds one and two. Speaking of that, let's show those really? judges' scorecards because we had some questionable scoring here tonight oh, wow. in Dallas. Uh, the fans were questioning it. The guys down at the cage were questioning it as well. But yeah, that was a little surprising once we heard. And granted, it didn't matter because Brandon Moreno gets the fourth knockout of his career. But yeah, those are the judges' scorecards. Car France up to to, like it was like how how is that possible i don't I'm, know i'm, I'm looking at I, I, this is the first i hear of it i'm, I'm pretty shocked I, listen i attended the judges course <laughs> last sunday I, I, and I, I didn't see it I, I don't i didn't see how kai car france was winning those rounds and i attended the course i don't see how they scored it for kai car france but nonetheless moreno gets the win and now it sets us up for what everyone anticipates we thought we may get four consecutive fights between brandon moreno and davis and figueredo for that title but now after this fight against kai car france we've got to see it soon right john i think so you know i was under the impression this week, and I was told this, that Davison Figueredo had sort of mentally and psychologically moved on from this Brandon Moreno fight, and that was in some part why they didn't run it back to back to back to back four consecutive times. Right. Moreno obviously took care of his business. Davison Figueredo likely was hoping a new challenger and Kai Cotta France would emerge. You got to do this fight a fourth time. You really do. I think you do it with a Brazilian backdrop. Wheels up. Let's go to Rio. I can't <laughs> wait to see it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.